difference for germ acceleration video series. In this demonstration, we're going to show a conventional generator coil that delivers nine watts to the two loads that we have here. And when the conventional coil delivers the nine watts to these light bulbs, the input to the prime mover will increase by nine watts. When the regenerative acceleration generator coil delivers 61 watts to the light bulbs, there will be no cost to the prime mover and uh, the armature reaction for the regenerative acceleration coil will be zero. So I'll put the uh, conventional generator coil on now. Our speed is 3480 RPM and I will connect the conventional coil to the load.
transmission line is characterized by a series resistance, a series inductance, and a shunt capacitance. In a short transmission line, aka a conventional generator coil, the shunt capacitance can be neglected. So here we have the equivalent circuit of a conventional generator coil and we have a series DC resistance with an inductance. And with the regenerative acceleration coil, the primary difference between the regenerative acceleration coil and the conventional coil is that the, the shunt capacitance of the Regen X coil is used to its full effect. And what that means is that when the operational frequency of the Regen X coil is increased to the critical minimum frequency, the current cannot be passed through the inductance or the inductive reactance of the Regen X coil. So the re the the shunt capacitance in the Regen X coil carries the initial current and then it's the once the rotating magnetic field is top dead center to the coil the voltage stored in the shunt capacitor is then released through the coil and this is how the Regen X generator coil is able to create a neutral on load power delivery in violation of Lenz's law and the law of conservation of energy and Faraday's law. So Lenz's law of induction states that an induced EMF or voltage will cause a current to flow in a circuit in such a direction that its magnetic effect or induced counter electromotive torque will oppose the change that produces it. So this means that a conventional generator coil will create magnetic resistance and we saw that in the demonstration with the conventional coil lighting the two light bulbs where our input increased in tandem with the power delivered to the load and this is in agreement with what the law of conservation of energy says this law follows directly from the law of conservation of energy that states to cause and induce current to flow requires the, expender, the expenditure of energy. So we saw current flowing from our conventional coil and we saw an increase in the input to the prime mover. Again, it's completely in agreement with the rest of what the law of conservation of energy says in the case of a generator when the current flows from the generator to the load electric energy is expended in the load the field produced by the current is always in a direction so that it reacts with the main generator field to oppose the turning action of the prime mover driving the generator and this is exactly what we saw when the conventional generator coil delivered 9 watts to the light bulbs, we saw an increase in our input to our prime mover of 9 watts. Thus, the greater the electric energy supplied to the load, the greater is the reaction and in turn, the greater is the mechanical energy required from the prime mover. 
Energy must be supplied to the generator at the same rate that it is being taken from the generator. Faraday's law is denoted by the minus sign in, in front of the EMF and uh, basically all of these laws, Lenz's law, Faraday's law, the law of conservation of energy are all now invalid with respect to the regenerative acceleration coil which says that an induced EMF or voltage will not cause a current to flow sorry will cause a current to flow in a, in such a direction that it's a magnetic effect does not oppose the change that produces it and uh, all of these laws of physics are now defunct the regenerative acceleration coil delivered in the demonstration delivered 61 watts to the loads and the energy supplied to the prime mover did not increase and that's the essence of the regenerative acceleration coil. Thank you for watching this video and Happy New Year.